In this video, we will learn how to use the point tool to edit the points of a path object. Now, most objects you interact with in Vector Inc are going to be path objects, and they are made up of a series of connected points. The point tool is located right below the selection tool in the toolbar, and it allows you to edit these points directly. So tap on the point tool to activate it, and then tap on an object to select it. Now, you'll notice these four points that make up my rectangle here. And this rectangle is a simple path object that was added via this rectangle tool, right? So now selected with the point tool, we have the points that make up this path. And between the points, this is called the curve, all right? Now, to move a point, you can simply tap on it. and then press down on the canvas and drag it around. And you'll notice that doing so, it's going to snap to certain locations. And where it's snapping to is the 90 degree angle between it and the curve before it. Now down in the action menu, you can see that there are several options for altering the selected path. The first being delete which will remove a point from the path when tapped. So I'm going to hit the delete button and that just deleted that point that was selected. Then the next action is select multiple, which will allow you to select multiple paths at once. So I'm going to tap that to activate it and then I can select multiple paths. Now like the selection tool, you can also use the selection box to select multiple points. The next option is the cut path option, right? So I'm going to activate that. And when activated, I'm going to tap on a location of the path. Now, my path is closed. And a closed path is simply a path where the first point and the last point are the same point, right? Mine is closed. So I'm going to have to tap on it again at another location to cut it. So I'm going to tap right here, and now this path is now two individual paths, two open paths at that, okay? So now coming back to the point tool, if I were to select the cut action again, and I cut this path, I now have a separate path cut from this one. So that's the cut action. The next action is going to be the add point action, which when activated, wherever I tap on the path, it's going to add a point there. And then the next action is the subtract point action, which is much like the delete action in the beginning, right? Which will delete actions as you will delete points as you tap on them. Now, when either the point tool or the pin tool is active, the path panel becomes available in the control bar and the path panel provides you with actions for smoothing points. So I'm going to go ahead and select my path and select a point. Now this first action right here simply gives you a sharp corner joint, right? It's what you currently see already. So tapping on that will do nothing. But the next option gives you a mirrored joint. Tapping on that smooths the corner and gives you two handles to drag around. And when you select a mirrored joint, those handles mirror each other no matter which one you move. They mirror each other in distance and in angle. Now, the next joint after that is an asymmetric joint. And what an asymmetric joint does is much like the mirror joint, it will mirror the angle, but not the distance. And lastly, you have a disconnected joint, which neither mirrors the distance or the angle, but allows each handle to operate independently. Now below the joint actions is the closed path action. 
which will close a path by connecting the first point to the last point, like so. It maintained the position of the points and simply created a curve between both points. Now below closed path is join paths, which joins two paths together. So let's say I have this path and I want to join it to this path. I'm going to select both paths and then activating the point tool, I'm going to select join paths. And what that did was join both paths together. Now the next action is going to be simplify. And this simplifies a path by removing unnecessary points. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to go into the draw tool and I'm going to draw a path. Now this path has many different points. But if I hit simplify, it's going to remove some of those points and simplify the path more and more with each press. Now the next option on that path panel list is separate. And what separate will do is it will take a compound path which is a path that consists of multiple paths, and it'll separate each of those paths into individual paths. To demonstrate this, I'm going to create a compound path. So I'm going to add a few rectangles inside of an outer rectangle. I'm going to color this outer rectangle. I'm going to pick a color for this outer rectangle, and then selecting all five rectangles, I'm going to select subtract in the boolean panel this just created a single path that consists of multiple paths but they are all still one path so now coming back over to the point tool being that this is one path i can hit separate and it now just separated all of these into individual paths again. It removed the color, which is why it's looking like this. So if I select a color here, now each path is its own individual path. Now under the point tool, you have the pen tool, which comes with the same actions as the point tool as they are one in the same except the pen tool allows you to create a path from scratch and it is great for tracing over images if you're trying to convert an image to a vector manually you would want to use the pen tool for most if not all of the work but to use the pen tool simply tap on it to activate it and then tap wherever you want to start your path so i'm going to tap right here uh, you'll notice it just added a point. Now, if you're using a touch screen, it's going to add the point. But if you're using a mouse, you will see it dragging a dragging the path. The path will be following your mouse cursor. Here, because I'm using my device in touch screen mode, it's not acting as if I have a mouse. So I have to tap again, and now it created my path. OK, and I can keep tapping to keep creating my path and it's going to keep doing this until I deactivate the tool. So I can come in here into the point tool now and start editing the path or I can come back to the pin tool. Tap on the last handle where I want to begin from or the last point where I want to begin from and then continue adding. Onto my path and then when I tap on the first point again with the last point selected it's going to close the path so now there's nothing more for the pin tool to do except for add another path if i start clicking again so i have these two paths now another way to use the pin tool is if i want to smooth a corner when i add instead of just tapping i can tap and drag 
and then I automatically get these handles. And then when I released, I have a smooth corner. And then I can continue doing that, continue making smooth corners as I go. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more updates, tutorials, and everything related to Vector Rain. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.